who is the ideal TJDBA candidate? Who has the highest chance of securing a seat at the prestigious PGDBA program? And the answer to this question lies in a multivariate function of five variables. So this function f of a, b, c, d, e is the answer. So what exactly are these variables? So first variable a which you are seeing over here is representing the amount of mathematics and computer science exposure someone is having in their career. Essentially, it could be your mathematics or computer science education or the work which you're doing, right? So I can just write that the first here is maths plus CS skills in your profile. The second variable of interest is your IT or analytics work experience. Now, this essentially is a full-time work experience, right? Not really an education or internship, but after you complete your education. So, ideally, if you have, let's say, a one to three years of IT or analytics work experience, that is kind of ideal. Now, this is something based on my understanding of the program and understanding of the interview process. Now, Obviously, this is just a speculation, but a pretty reasonable and logical speculation as well. When I say one to three years of work experience, what I'm saying is anything in between one to three is the ideal. It will give you the maximum value. Anything less than one will decrease the value for your experience and anything more than three will also decrease the value for your experience. Because in India, most programs are designed for freshers. And if they have not specifically mentioned for working executives or senior executives, it is meant for freshers. And if it's meant for freshers, they would ideally require someone who is relatively new in their career. So, yeah. But as this course is a pretty different kind of a course than an MBA course, a one to three years of work experience is something which is really valuable here. Now, third variable. This denotes the written test performance. And obviously, this is not directly dependent on your profile. But yes, if you're someone who has prepared well, who is good in mathematics and problem solving, so your written test score, the third variable, will be high and you will have a better chance of getting that PGDBA seat. Fourth variable of interest over here is interview performance. So essentially interview performance is also a variable which will govern the chances of your selection. And the last is any technical spikes. Now technical spikes could be of any nature. It could be a professional certification which you have done in data science. It could be your IIT degree. It could be your ISI degree. It could be your Olympiad certificates or some kind of thing which denotes your interest in analytics, in mathematics, in things related to coding or data crunching. Your math CS skills, your one to three years of IT analytics work experience, written test performance, interview performance, and any reasonable technical spike. And this will give you a good understanding of how do you stand in the PGGBA profile race.